in this uh, video, I want to talk about uh, an hyperbola. Okay, so let me write the general or the standard form of an hyperbola. When you say standard form, it is centered at zero, zero. Okay, so the standard form of a hyperbola is x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared is equal to one. So here the center, p for center is zero, zero. Center is zero comma zero. A, uh, okay, so A and B are related uh, to the focus. Okay, so the focus or the fo focal length. So let's say focal length or the distance of the focus from the center is called focus, focal length. So C is square root of a squared plus b squared. In ellipse, it is square root of a squared minus b squared, and here it is a squared plus b squared. So let's take an example. How does an ellipse look like? Say, let's take, now this is question number 84 in your workbook, in New Lake workbook. This is on page 31. So the question is, uh, calculate the vertices, foci, asymptote, and sketch the hyperbola. So the question is x squared over 25 minus y squared over 16 is equal to 1. Okay. A hyperbola is, uh, has got two asymptotes. Okay. As in a rectangle hyperbola, you've got the horizontal and the vertical asymptote. In a in the hyperbola in conics has got an oblique or a slanting asymptote. I'll come to that. So the first thing is center. So the center here is clearly zero zero. Your A is of course five and B is four. So how is A and B related? Or when you draw the graph, uh, I'll show you that later. So C is square root of uh, a squared plus b squared, which is 25 plus 16, with the square root of 41. And square root of 41 is, uh, this is plus or minus 6.4. Okay, square root of 6.4. We can say the foci f1, so let's say there are two focuses, would be 6.4 comma 0 and f2 is minus 6.4 comma 0. So now how do you sketch this graph? Okay, so to sketch this graph, this is the center, this is the center 0, 0, uh, and a is phi, so you go phi across x-axis, 1, 2, 3, 4, phi, okay, so this is phi, and 1, 2, 3, hopefully, one, two, three, four, five. So this is negative five. Okay, and then what is B? You go B, you go four horizontal, sorry, vertically. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you go down four. One, two, three, four. So this is negative four. So the first thing that you draw is the asymptote. So this is a point. I'll explain why this is important. These are points. You can draw also a rectangle if you want to. So these are the points. So these points, let me write the coordinate. So this the coordinate of this point is phi comma four. The coordinate of this point is phi comma negative four. The coordinate of this point is negative 5 comma 4 and the coordinate of this point is negative 5 comma negative 4. Now these are asymptotes so let me use a, a different color. So to draw the first you draw the asymptote and generally you draw a dotted line for an asymptote. So this is an asymptote and you join it to the other end. So this is an asymptote. 
and other asymptote would be always the asymptote is always passing through the center would always pass through the center and if you go this way first draw the asymptote so so these are the asymptotes and and you can also draw let me draw a rectangle so you can draw a rectangle so that you can well first you can draw the rectangle and then so these are the you can say these are the boundaries so to draw to draw the s uh, so these are the vertex so this this the vertices are so let me write the vertices the vertices are going to be plus or minus pi comma zero so the the hyperbola would go like this pass through the so these are the two hyperbolas so basically these hyperbolas are going to asymptote towards these lines okay and the equation of the asymptote in this case asymptote hopefully I've written the spelling right the gradient is the equation of an asymptote is y is equal to plus or minus b over a x plus c where c is zero here so in this case the equation of an asymptote is plus or minus 4 over 5 x 